next speaker will be Melissa Jacevius with a six minute talk. Papers. 
physics and nature drew all of the papers they had from him, and he even got his PhD revoked from the University of Constantis. And um, he was forced to leave America due to shame us because they, he wasn't American in the first place, but all of his work was done in America and they weren't put up with it. Um, now he's known as one of the biggest people to ever um, do fraud in science and um, nobody will even look at his work now. Whenever they were trying to actually find his work, all of it was deleted off of his computer because of um, not enough space or he, I don't know, all his work was disappeared so when I was trying to find his work, I couldn't find any of it because it's non-existent now. So all of my graphs and stuff that I've had in this whole thing were just something I found to point out because I thought I was going to be able to find more information on his actual work. But he um, pretty much substituted data, he made unrealistic precision of data and he would contradict common physics and so pretty much the moral of this presentation is don't fake your work or you'll get fired in your PhD revoked. Any questions? What does this guy do now? I must think he can't even get a job at McDonald's. <laughs> I, couldn't find, I couldn't find anything on him now. Yeah, I, would, I, would I think he disappeared pretty much. I know he went back home. How old is he? It said he was 31 in 2000. Okay. The 2000 Yeah, he's probably in his 40s now. No one will hire him. No, I don't think anybody would hire him. But he wants to be a teacher. Like, he can teach. <laughs> yeah, he's true. Right? Okay. Okay. Not personal teacher, personal teacher. <laughs> he could, yeah, he could Maybe in school. Yeah, in school or something, yeah. right? That's I don't know if I would trust him. <laughs> Anything he calls me, right? <laughs> I thought it was a very interesting topic, and I thought his work would have some more background to it, but I couldn't find anything because it's not what was real. And I think all of the things he created were just in papers and not ever in real form. So that should have been a red flag to Bell Labs, but I guess it wasn't. <laughs> I should become a magician.